Hey, it's Thomas Mulready from CoolCleveland.com, and we're here today at St. Rocco's on the west side of Cleveland. We're here with Tom Everett from Dance Everett. Tom, thanks so much for being with us. Pleasure, Tom. It's a pleasure to be with you. You've got a, a, a rehearsal going here with some students, and you're doing a lot with arts education these days. You just sort of returned. You've been, you've been away for a couple of years. Yes. Tell, us, tell us where you've been. You've been in the D.C. area, correct? Okay. Washington, D.C. Went to Washington to uh, do some work with the Kennedy Center, which is this arts education programming that we're doing, and actually uh, developed a new program called Geometry in Motion, which has been a tremendous, uh, we've seen a wonderful success with it, and that students are scoring 100% on their geometry tests and making dance performances. I think that's awesome. You're using dance to teach geometry. Yes, exactly. Uh -huh. You know, you, you came uh, here uh, out of the Paul Taylor Dance Company, you formed your own uh, dance company in the 80s, late 80s, really. Why did you end up leaving Cleveland and going to D.C.? What happened there? So I mentioned Kennedy Center. There was I had been doing work with them. I've been offering professional development workshops with teachers and um saw a great opportunity there and, and uh, the welcome door was open and, and went for that opportunity. There was a, a couple other business opportunities and some um, artistic collaborations that were a, a lure and uh, made that move but saying like, what? there's no place like home. I just missed home and in terms of rebuilding the company, I wanted to be here in Cleveland. So you're back now and, and a lot of it now is informed by this work with students and with these education programs, isn't that right? Exactly. Um, we had that great, we've been doing it for 25 years with young audiences of Greater Cleveland uh, throughout North Steeth, Ohio. And we're here actually with Very Special Arts Ohio, which uh, throughout the state provides funding for um, this kind of programming. And so um, we're invested in this education program and from it are beginning to develop um, choreographic works for professional dancers as well. Right. So you've got both things going. You've got an education program here and you're also putting on uh, a benefit and it's going to result in a new piece of work as well. Correct. So the benefit will you know, help support these programs as well as um, a company of dancers that were performing um, a new work entitled by the same name, Geometry in Motion. Tell me the secret of how you end up teaching geometry with dance. I think it's fascinating. I saw you here doing some rehearsal with kids where they're doing parallel lines and perpendicular lines and expressing with their bodies, which is what it is. It's bodies in motion, right? Exactly. Somebody said, well, how can you do geometry and dance? In fact, the truth is you can't dance without doing geometry because the body is a series of lines and angles. And uh, so no matter what I do, I'm always in a geometric configuration. It's, there's, it's always there. So take us through it a little bit. When, when the kids uh, are doing it here, does it just help them conceptualize things better? I mean, how are they scoring better on tests? Um, it's considered multiple intelligences. In fact, so they're working with their bodies kinesthetically. They're working spatially. Uh, they're working musically. They're also working with each other interpersonally. And they're working uh, and they're feeling good about themselves so that they're being creative and they're, they're, you know, they're being exalted in just the joy of moving through space. So there's all kinds of learning. So they may be on their test going, let's see, parallel, intersecting, perpendicular, but uh, it's, it's fully integrated. And that it, in the end, uh, it's it just there. It's just all there. These kids are having fun. They're using all parts of their, their minds and their bodies. Yeah. Talk about your benefit. It's coming up here. Um, it's going to take place on the 16th of March, and it's the All About Dancing Ballroom. It's right near the West Side Market. Correct, just a few blocks south of the, the market, and it's, a, it's a, a ballroom. We thought in keeping with a dance party and with our art form, it would be a fun, um, a fun event. It's a very moderate price to, uh, to attend, and it's a dance night. Well, I'll give a little presentation, not a dance performance, but a little presentation as well as... Uh, just a good time with company there. There's tables and chairs and everything. If people are want to sit in the lounge, they can do that too. Yeah. And Susanna's going to give some lessons beforehand. I understand. Exactly. Susanna, the 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 salsa, the salsera. The, she does the beautiful Latin dancing, and we'll give a simple some fundamentals, and that people can enjoy with, with, and get out and dance themselves. Yeah. Sounds like a great program. It sounds like a fun event. Thanks for having us in here. Thanks to all you guys for paying attention and being so good back there. You want to give Mr. Everett a big round of applause here? <laughs>
You deserve it, Tom. Welcome back to Cleveland. It's Thank good you. to have you here. Pleasure to be here. Always a pleasure. Thank you. Hey, it's Thomas Mulready from CoolCleveland.com. Have a great week in cool Cleveland.